Today I'll be putting some pretty high quality and high performance fans by Thermaltake to the test. We are dealing with the so-called TUF Fan 12 Pro 120mm fans. These are available both in single packs and in packs of two, but mind you, they are considered high-end fans in terms of both quality and price. Therefore, we are easily spending about 25 US dollars on a single TUF Fan 12 Pro. A double pack would currently cost you around 45 to 50 dollars. In today's video, I'm not only taking a look at the overall build quality and performance compared to many other fans of the competition, but will additionally be comparing the noise levels and how well these things cool when significantly lowering the fan speed. In any case, the Tough Fan 12 Pro is presented very elegantly. I quite like that. The single pack, in addition to the actual fan, gets us the usual case fan screws, but also longer radiator screws, which is actually rather unusual and can therefore be perceived as quite generous by us consumers. Also included is a so-called low noise cable, which reduces the fan speed using a built-in resistor of 43 ohms. In fact, the scope of delivery of the double pack is identical, so we get all the mentioned stuff in pairs. First of all, I would like to praise the extremely high build quality. The entire fan frame is really robust and doesn't flex at all. The whole fan also comes with a pretty decent weight to it. The choice of material for the fan blades is something that stands out almost instantly. According to Thermaltec, the material goes by the name of Liquid Crystal Polymer or LCP for short. Apparently that should help ensure there's reduced vibration at max fan speed. Purely judging by the fan's overall design, it's also clear that this is a model optimized for high static pressure, so in theory it's well suited for use on radiators. I also noticed that the distance between the frame and the fan blades is extremely small. The distance here is a mere 0.6 mm, so that we experience as little airflow leakage as possible. As expected, there are rubber pads on each of the corners to dampen vibrations. So aesthetically and in terms of build quality alone, the Tough Fan 12 Pro looks really promising. Personally, I really like the fact that the branding is kept down to a minimum and that we don't see any stickers. At the heart of the fan, its motor is a hydraulic bearing. Operating in our regular PWM mode, we are talking of a maximum of 2000 RPM. If the included low noise cable is used, the speed is reduced to 1500 RPM, which can usually be reduced just as easily using our motherboards. But I'm not complaining, test setup. As always, the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X 16 core is in need of cooling. For the tests, three of each fan model are mounted to the Be Quiet Pure Loop 360mm AIO liquid cooler. Noise levels. In our first test, we see the Tough Fan 12 Pro doing really well for themselves at a max speed of 2000 RPM. At a measured 50 decibels, they're not among the quietest, but far from the noisy variety. Temperatures at max fan speed. In the Prime 95 stress test, the Thermaltec fans, practically speaking, are up there at the very top, giving competitors fans such as the Be Quiet, Silent Wings Pro 4 and Light Wings High Speed, but also Arctic's P12 Max a tough time. If we go even further, allow for even more CPU heat output by running the Cinebench 2024 test, the Tough Fan 12 Pro even pushes its way into the first place. Definitely a very impressive result at max speed, one has to admit. But of course, comparable Be Quiet and Arctic fans are not far behind. These were theoretical tests, though. Now more practical tests are about to follow. Temperatures at a fixed 40 decibels. If all fans are now reduced and leveled down to 40 decibels, regardless of their respective speeds, three or to be exact, two fans share the number one spot in the Prime 95 run, Silent Wings Pro 4 and today's Tough Fan 12 Pro. These distance themselves by about a degree or two from the rest of the fans within the chart. If we now go ahead and repeat the test with Cinebench 2024, leading to a higher heat output, these Thermaltec fans for the first time fail to fully keep up with those Be Quiet Silent Wings Pro 4 fans. Keep in mind, we are talking of the test at the same identical noise level. Nonetheless, there is no doubt that we are dealing with an extremely good overall result. Conclusion 
These Thermaltake fans tested today perform great for the most part, not just in terms of cooling performance and noise level, but also as far as overall build quality is concerned. Of course, there's fierce competition. However, I would not necessarily speak of a clear winner here. In the end, it remains a choice of preference as to which high-end fan you purchase. Be it Be Quiet, Thermaltake or any model of other reputable competitors. The prices are more often than not very comparable and similar. The only ones to stand out in a way are those Arctic P12 Max. These are almost unbeatable in terms of price performance ratio, but they don't always make it to the very top performance wise, and especially not when it comes to noise levels. What I'm saying is, it ultimately comes down to budget. In any case, I can confirm that the Thermaltic Tough Fan 12 Pro are truly great, albeit somewhat pricey fans. Regardless, they're totally worth recommending. What's your outlook on the fan market? Do you prefer buying models that perform well in terms of price-performance ratio, or do you usually end up buying what's best or labeled high-end? I'm speaking of fans costing $20 to $30 each. I'm really interested in what you have to say. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you did not, make that dislike button glow. With that in mind, thank you for watching and until the next one.